United States. This in the wake of what you're seeing here, the catastrophic collapse and deadly collapse in New York City. Now, some experts saying other aging garages could be at risk of collapsing due to, some say, the deceptive weight of electric vehicles. They say parking operators, they need to pay extra attention to the EVs and have their garages assessed to see if they need a weight limit. Just the battery from an average Tesla can weigh as much as a Honda Civic itself, so the whole Tesla vehicle can weigh more than a loaded pickup truck, but it's, again, half the size. New York City's Emergency Management Commissioner is saying there were more than four dozen cars on that roof at the time of the collapse. So far, it looks like most of them were large SUVs, no word of any EVs. So, again, bringing that to the attention of uh, Armin Kurdian is joining us now. He's a certified systems engineer. Lauren Fix is the editor in chief for Car Coach Reports and automotive expert. So, thank you so much for coming on. To be very clear, we're not linking both of these stories. We're simply bringing attention to the matter uh, in terms of weight limits and perhaps how this needs to be focused on a, a little bit more, specifically after that deadly collapse in New York City. Armin, if you look at the way these old parking garages have been constructed, um, could it be possible that the weight of newer vehicles, even again in a general sense, some EVs now, could strain older buildings that perhaps weren't ready uh, for these heavier vehicles? Your thoughts? Well, first of all, good morning. Thank you for having me on. So when you build a parking garage, you're designing it for a certain weight load and for a certain service life. And you have some expectations as to what the cars are going to weigh over the life of that parking garage. Let's say it's a million pounds and, you know, 50 years. Well, now here come these electric vehicles, which is a little bit heavier. So now maybe instead of a maximum load of a million pounds, you might actually get 1.1 million pounds. Well, fortunately, engineers are smart enough to know that uh, people aren't going to use things the way we design them. So we put in a nice big safety factor, say half a million pounds, in case something like this actually happens. So where I don't necessarily expect you're going to see a lot of parking garages starting to collapse and fail and, and, and break down. What you are going to see is a lot of these buildings starting to wear out faster. You're going to need more inspections. And what does this all mean? More cost for us, and it's going to be more expensive to park in midtown Manhattan. I want to show you this, a structural engineer who's consulting on some new regulations, this for a multi-story garage, garages in the UK, spoke to The Telegraph about this very topic. The, again, engineer saying this, quote, operators need to be aware of electric vehicle weights and get their car parks assessed from a, a strength point of view and decide if they need to limit Wait, unquote. Um, I'll go to Lauren on this and your thoughts on this. Obviously, electric vehicles, green energy, it's been a hot topic. It's been a political football, if you will. But again, back to just safety. Put all that, that away. In terms of safety, cars are evolving. Electric vehicles are becoming more prevalent here. Do you believe that, that this should be focused on now when folks are building out parking garages that you may have more heavier vehicles with EVs mm -hmm. on site. Well, I should point out, just so we have the facts, 5.8% of the vehicles that were sold in 2022, that's it, 5.8% of 15 million cars were electric. And in California, there's a total of only 18%. But we do have a problem with infrastructure. That particular building was only designed and approved for five cars per floor. And obviously, there were 50 cars on the top floor. But you have to keep in mind, you're looking at a Hummer EV, which is an awesome vehicle, and it weighs 9,000 pounds. That's 2,500 pounds more than the past Hummer H2. Uh, like you said in the, in the opening, the Tesla weighs yeah. more than a Honda Civic. And all these vehicles do weigh more. So we're going to see problems with expansion bridges. Are we going to see problems with other parking garages? We don't know that. But we do know that it causes more wear and tear on the roadways. And while the government is pushing more electric vehicles, there's a lot more to keep in mind for consumers. These vehicles are safe as individuals on the road. But what you do need to know is it's going to cost you more in insurance. It's going to cost all of us more in electricity. And we're already seeing that when you go to purchase a vehicle with an average price of $66,000. All right, Armin Kurdian joining us live. Lauren Fix, we appreciate your time and weighing in.